Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessra from Tessra's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. And let's get into this. Okay. Intuition. So I had a... um. I don't know if it was a dream or just a voice saying something to me or I, I don't know, but this affirmation, I got it in my sleep. And so I'm assuming that somebody around me or you guys, some of you guys are dealing with like, say you want a certain job, but you don't have the degree or you don't have the experience. Say you want to move into a certain apartment, but you don't make three times the rent or whatever, you know, um, Things where rules and requirements prohibit you from, say some of you guys got a record. That's a good one. That's a good one. I know why this came to me now. One of my friends called me, her daughter was messing with this guy. Long story short, they ended up, he ended up being busted for drugs. Um, they lived together, so they both ended up getting a record. She is a college graduate, okay? So she was telling me about how it's hard for her to get an apartment. I know why this came to me now. Okay. The affirmation, rules and requirements do not apply to me. I always get what I want. Rules and requirements do not apply to me. I always get what I want. Rules and requirements do not apply to me. I always get what I want. So that implies that you're above any kind of rules and requirements. So, so like I said, say you want to get a job, but you don't have a degree for it. That's a requirement, right? Rules and requirements don't apply to you. You always get what you want. Say you want to move into an apartment or say, say it has something to do with your credit. You know, stupid ass stuff that keeps people out of things. That is your affirmation. Memories of love. I'm getting six of cups. Okay. So some of you guys intuitively, intuitively know that somebody from your past is going to be coming back. Okay. Scorpio energy with that six of cups out there. Light. So I read, so this could be, t so this could be a new beginning. Somebody could have, somebody could have had an epiphany. Okay. So this person could have, from the past, could have, could have had an epiphany about something, an epiphany about you, an epiphany about the relationship. You know, you can make them have an epiphany <laughs> um, about you and the relationship. Um, but some, maybe even this is the sun car where the, the light was shown on the situation or we'll see movement choices and decisions. So two, 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 two may be significant in some way. Triumph seven, 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 maybe, uh, um, seven, seven, seven may be applicable in some way. Bottom of the deck, patience, 14, breaks down to a 7. Planning and patience, 7, triumph, 7, 777. Seven, seven. So patience, planning equals triumph, okay? Patience and planning equals triumph. Mm -hmm. Hold on, you guys. Oh, somebody always asks me. This mug is in the shop. It was a Christmas mug, but, you know, I use all my mugs all year. Um... And especially because my son be in my pockets heavy all the time. And he's he'll be 22 this year. So definitely F them kids. <laughs> um, and I'm drinking get, get to the Bag coffee, which is a breakfast blend. Um, but that's a blend I, I, I drink when I'm planning and plotting where my next bag going to come from. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. These cards have been pre-shuffled. Bottom of the deck, on page of wands. Okay, fire energy. So some of you guys know that a message is coming. Some of you guys are manifesting a message from this box, from this person, or manifesting communication. But some of you guys know that a message will be coming in, or that communication will be coming in. I'm assuming from this um, six of cups energy. Clarify intuition. Mm, wow, two of cups. 
So some of you guys intuitively know that your soulmate's getting ready to come back in and, and, and communicate with you. Wow. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So you got Cancer energy, Fire energy out here, and Virgo energy. So mm, <laughs> some of y'all intuitively know. Y'all have stayed strong through this prog uh, through this process. But some of you guys intuitively know that this person is on their way back around. You can feel it, okay? When they do come back around, it's for the long term. It's for the long term, okay? Clarify memories of love. So I feel like somebody's in a nostalgic state right now. Could be you, could be that person. Clarify memories of love. Thinking about the past. Wow. Wanting to be victorious. This is that triumph card, okay? Wanting to be successful. Whoa, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa. Bottom of that nine of cups. So I, I feel like some some so I feel like this person is stressing over how they're gonna make this offer to you. I feel like they're stressing because they may feel like you have moved on, okay? They may also feel like you've seen, so I heard seen the light about them. So they they may feel like you see them for who they are and you don't like it, okay? They may have tried to hide them true selves or their true selves, or they may be anxious about you seeing the real them. They may feel like if you see the real them, you won't want them, okay? But this person is really stressed out about how to make this love offer Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy, okay? Or this is you stressed that this person won't make this offer. So this could be you stressing out about when this person is going to make this offer, okay? Or if they're going to make this offer, okay? <clears throat> Ace of Cups, Six of um, Wands, Leo Energy, with the Six of Wands out here. Ace of Cups is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like this person is, they know that they could be successful in love with you, okay? With this Six of Wands, Ace of Cups. Or they know that if you gave them another chance or if you guys had a new beginning at love, it would be successful, okay? I also feel like you guys would be a popular couple. People would be, people would be, um, you two together would be a popular couple. Let's just say that all eyes would be on you guys. So I feel like you guys are both popular in your own rights, whether it's in your own city, you know, friend group, peer group, whatever. But I feel like you and this person together would definitely be a popular couple. You would be looked at and talked about. Okay. <clears throat> so somebody was bottom of the deck juggling. Okay. Yeah. 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 So <clears throat> bottom of the deck, two of pentacles, Capricorn energy, will of fortune and the hermit, more Virgo energy. This will of fortune is um leo taurus aquarius scorpio energy um but i feel like uh, again somebody was acting like they didn't know if this relationship was what they wanted so i feel like somebody was juggled here either you were juggling them or they were juggling you okay but again light somebody seen the light okay you guys may have had a, had a period of separation where some introspection was done okay and the light came on the light came on okay about you and this relationship okay and now i feel like this person wants a second go at it or another go at it they want things to go in their favor in terms of this relationship okay they may also feel like especially with this two of cups out here that you guys are destined this is destiny destined to be together okay clarify movement choices and decisions it's turned into a love reading. <clears throat> I feel like this person, I, I feel like to make this movement or, or, or this choice is going to take courage. Yep. Yep. Determination. More, more movement energy. 
So I feel like this person is going to come in very fiery, okay, very aggressive, especially with this strength card out here. It could be dealing with Leo or Ace of Wands, um, Leo, uh, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, but I'm going to deck again with this Empress card. I feel like this person feels like you're the one or they know you're the one, okay? Libra, I always read this as Libra or Taurus, um, but any sign could be the Empress. Um, <clears throat> but I feel like this person is going to be aggressively making movements, choices, and decisions towards you with this strength card. Okay. Very determined energy. Okay. Clarify Empress. What's this Empress? Mm-hmm. Because they want a relationship. Wow. Wow. Taurus energy. So again, I feel like this person feels like you're the one. Okay. And if in 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 Yeah. I feel like this person is watching and waiting. Okay, with this page of swords. So that's that decision movement and planning. I feel like this person is making very calculated moves. Okay, this person is watching and waiting. Okay. When would be the best time to make communication or give communication or have communication? <clears throat> Clarify this page of swords. This person could also be having some. Clarify this page of swords. This is page of swords. So this person could be going through a burden with another person, okay? Because with this page of swords, it, it, this could be some kind of legal issue, okay? But here's the six of cups again coming out. Memories of love, okay? Six of cups. So I feel like this person may be burdened with something right now, okay? But that doesn't negate the feelings and what they think about you it, it, and, and the fact that they want to come back around now. I said this person sees you as the one or they know you're the one. That Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy, that Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. And affirmation could be whatever your person's name is. Let's just say Bob. You know, I always use Bob. Bob knows I'm the one for him. Bob knows Bob knows I'm the only one for him. Or Bob wants me and only me. All those things imply that you are the one. Okay? So... If they don't know it, I would affirm for it. If that's what you wanted to do, okay? Let's get an angel card. <clears throat> let's see. Now, let's get one of these. This turned into a love message. Let's get one of these. With a confession. What do they want to confess? Okay. Mm. Finding out the truth crushed me. Ah. So there was some light shown on a situation that they found out about. Could be about another person that they were dealing with. Well, whatever it was, the truth came out. So they found out some kind of truth that crushed them. Could have been about another person. Where if I find out the truth, trust me. Yeah. Whatever it was, it really, it, it put them in a depressive state. So they found out some kind of, some, some kind of truth that crushed them, literally. Four swords, Libra energy. Okay, so they may have been dealing with somebody else and found out the truth about it, you know. But something they found out about crushed them. And that literally was clarified by the four swords which to me I mean if you look at this person they look depressed so whatever they found out caused depression burden okay so they may be wow for some of you guys that somebody found out a child wasn't theirs for some of you guys somebody found out a child wasn't theirs mm-hmm So, for some of you guys, some of you guys, your person may have gotten somebody else pregnant 
they found out that child wasn't theirs. Hmm. Okay, well, that took a turn. So, Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.